So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be building a cart system for all this lumber right here. We're gonna put it on four wheels so we can move it around the shop. We're gonna put on some braces and some brackets and we're gonna find as much scrap as we can build and use and make a nice uh, lumber racking system. So if, you're, uh, if you ever wonder how to build a lumber rack, stay tuned and follow along. Let's go build. These are already pre-planed over here. Here's our storage shed for the lumber. We got a board and batten, little shed building right here. And we have a bunch of these left over. So what these are, are just some three inch beams here. And we're gonna turn these into a lumber rack. So if you look right over here, you wanna open up the shed, Henry boy? Tell us about the lumber pile inside here. There it is. This is all grandpa's oak right here. So what we gotta do is take all these one inch thick planks of hardwood oak and we're gonna stack these up into the shop. But nice wide planks here. You can see how big they are. So we wanna make something strong enough I ended up putting some extra bracing right in here just to hold all these all these oak planks in here. So again, today we're going to take some scrap wood and we're going to build on a cart system so we can wheel it around in the shop. With all that lumber, we want to keep it from getting wet and we're going to bring it inside the shop here. That's where we're using these scrap pieces, uh, building a little cart, lumber cart. So, so we have a nice... These are the post legs. And then we got another you known post leg here. And we're gonna tie these two together. So let's take a look. And there we go. So we got the two posts elevated and we're gonna put in the two by six crosses right here, strengthen it up. And then we're gonna put some shelves on here. I had some old shelves from the, the old garage and we're just gonna use them. We're gonna put two on each side and maybe make a top for this thing here. So. We put some long screws on each side, so anybody else have any ideas on a lumber racking system or a, or a lumber rack, just put in the comments here below. Went to the hardware store and we got torque screws. So we had a bunch of two by six bracing for the walls in the shop here. And so we just used up some of these two by six scraps. Uh, we use these beams from the shed where the lumber is. And you can see here now, we got a nice frame table on it. And actually these pads right here, we're gonna end up putting some wheels on there. So I'm not sure what the weight limit is on four caster wheels, but we're gonna load this thing pretty heavy with some lumber. What? I don't know what do you call this. Wiggle. So what do you think guys? Put in the comments what you think. Should we cut it off or leave it long? So let's just overhang it the same on each end. There's a foot there. And a foot here. Hey, that would feel pretty good. Now we gotta climb up there. And we found some Mondo screws. Look at these babies. Those things are huge. We gotta get a good fresh battery though. Suck those babies in. Everybody needs a trusty carpenter square. Old and rusty, but reliable. Old and rusty. Let's see how square this is. What do you think? Looks 
square? No. No. So I'll have to give that be a little push. How about over here? Let's see there. Ooh, that looks pretty, pretty good. What do you do here? Push the button. It says it's got full charge. But I won't turn it. What do you think is stronger? The little camera drill? Or the high speed drill? Let's try it out. Well. Oh, look at that. A little vibration. Winner. Drill setting. What if we go over to hammer setting? Can you see it? Yep. Screws, hammers, and then there's the drills. Now which one's gonna be better? <laughs> that one. This one? Yeah. The hammer setting? Okay. So they're all trusty square. We're gonna make some triangle braces here. Use up some of the scrap plywood. Give it a little more strength. <laughs> Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Cool wood burning there. All right, so we used up some of these extra screws. Yeah, well, that stiffened it up pretty nice. Three. So we got our gussets on. We got our feet pads on, and inside the box, we're gonna use up some extra wheels. Okay, so we got our wheels put on. We got a nice cart here. It's kinda like a pull-up bar. How many can you do? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use up some of our scraps. So, so we have the shelf brackets. We get a bunch of these. These got nice gussets on them, so they're nice and strong. So we're gonna put them like right here. We're gonna make a couple of these. Maybe two here, two down here, and then we can put boards on the bottom base. We can put them on this shelf, we can put them on this shelf, and maybe we'll put another shelf up on the top. How much weight do you think this lumber rack is gonna hold anyway? Hmm, we'll find out. We'll give it a good test run. So we got the top ones on. Getting the bottom ones mounted up now. So we're putting in the screws on the sides. Well, there is our mobile lumber rack. So how do you make a mobile lumber rack? Well, we use up some scrap wood. 
and we got the wheels on we got casters on it we got a couple plywood gusset brackets here shelves and then we just got some angular uh, shelf scrap brackets here so now we got about five and a half to six feet in between the posts here so our eight foot lumber should sit on here pretty nice I think I'm going to strengthen this up and put one more gusset and tie these two together. Uh, maybe right in here, just to make it a little bit stronger here. All right, take some scrap wood there. Come over to here. And then we'll screw that in there and tie those together. I think the lumber wagon's done. We're ready to fill it up. Oh, nice day outside here. Well, let's start filling up our lumber wagon. So there it is. We got a mobile cart here. We can push the lumber pile any corner of the shop now. Not sure how heavy this thing is gonna get, but we'll see here in a little bit. Henry boys, picking out BBs from his BB gun shooting. You got any stuck in the wood? Working on emptying out the lumber pile. Good thing for the snowmobile trailer. We're just gonna back it up here. Here's our lumber inventory. And we're gonna start hauling this all out of here. Oh, there is some nice plain oak in here as well. Smells really good. Lily likes the smell of it, don't you? There is one. I wonder how many board feet of wood that we have here. My grandpa here. There's a lot of oak. I think we had some rascally friends. These are already pre-planed over here. Look at this big old plank here. That's almost, boy, it's gotta be over 12 inches wide right there. That is a big tree. We'll put that on the bottom of our lumber rack. 